Hello! The last few sessions, I was working on the needles of the woman. Now, I'm planning to add a fish skull on top of the woman's head to cover the woman's head like a helmet. In the beginning, I tried sketching the skull before painting, but that did not go so well because the pencil lines were too dark to see, so I opted to directly paint the details. The main colors I used were buff titanium, rosiana, low archer, and burnt umber. I wanted to achieve a transparent effect, so I mixed my paints with some rinsed oil. However, later on, I realized that this was a mistake. The colors, when I painted it, were not that well defined, and I also had difficulty in establishing the light and the dark parts of the painting. For the lower jar, for the lower jaw, I did not mix in rinsed oil anymore with my paints. And this produced a better result. I begin by differentiating the parts of the jaw to different tones, the dark parts, the light parts. And by doing this, I get a rough idea of what I'm painting. After identifying the parts, I add in the details like the teeth, the edges and the bone. For the whole structure, I repeat this flow. I begin with an outline and then blocking the specific parts and slowly add in the details. From the jaw, I go upwards to doing the eye of the fish. Although I have outlines, I do not really have a set flow on the parts I'm going to paint next. So I usually jump from part to part, depending on what I want to focus on. In session 5, I continue on working on the skull of my furrow fish. So I go and focus on the back parts since I'm done with the eye and the jaw. But the process is the same. I outline, I do the base colors, and then I add the specific details and the dark and the light tones. Whenever I have a portion that I overpaint, I always use my palette knife to scrape off the undesired parts of paint. I find this method easier for me than marking it a different color or trying to erase it with the tissue paper because I can precisely erase the unwanted parts. And by erasing the unwanted parts, I can see what I'm painting more clearly and how I'm gonna deal with the structure and the other parts. Another habit of mine when I paint is checking the proportions of the image I'm painting. I usually use my brush to do this or my hands. It's difficult to find mistakes when you first paint it, so I always find it crucial to take a break and to review the painting again. So I review my proportions again, and the lights and the darks again, just to make sure that I was able to capture the image correctly and in the way I want to capture it. I wasn't able to finish the whole skull yet, so see you next time! Thank you!